Diversity has the power to do these things. If you don't get anything from my talk, please get this slide. Because diversity is why our business has gone from where it was to where it's going very well today. It's just great for business. It's great for business. People want to see diversity. One of my clients is PNC Bank. Their CEO says, the more diversity we have at PNC, the better it is for our business. Number two, it expands your customer base. Think about this, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know someone, right, you see someone out in an event, but you don't know them, if they kind of look like you, they kind of, you might be, or they, you think something might click between the two of you, you're more likely to what? Go and talk to that person. Because what? You feel a sense of connection with them. So having diversity, it will expand your customer base. Because if you have people from, like I said, I have a Lebanese partner, Middle Eastern partner, Caucasian, African American, we have different spectrums of different races and ethnicities. So our clients feel that we can service them because we have a very diverse culture in our organization. So having diversity, it expands your potential customer base. Number three, it improves your community image. I was walking around Madison yesterday, I saw a ton of diversity. African American, Asian American, Caucasian. It was nice to see that because that tells me there's opportunity for business owners who bring in diversity to their business because it is here in Madison and around the area. It expands your employee pool. It gives you more people to reach out to who can fit what you need for your business. So remember that. It is imperative that you remember it can expand your employee pool. And then at the end of the day, it strengthens your problem-solving abilities. People who are in different ethnicities, different cultures, they look at problems differently. They might be able to attack something differently, address it differently, bring a different perspective. So when you have diversity in your organization, it can do all these five things. It can be great for your business, expands your customer base, improves your community image, expands your employee pool, and it can help strengthen your problem-solving abilities. So I found that has been very successful for our business today. And inclusion creates a winning culture for your organization. If people feel they can talk to you and they can share with you, they are going to always be in a position to what? Want to be sure that the business is thriving. So it creates a winning culture. Can you talk about the, you know, the highs and the lows, but the people around you on your personal life? I mean, that's another key. You know, everybody wants to be your buddy when you're doing well. Right. It's when it's dark is when you look around and you lose in the room. So when I, when I had Caden at the height, we were an eight-figure business. Everybody wanted to be my friend. Like I had family that was always calling me, needing something. I would always help them out. Uh, friends of mine from, you know, college or people that I knew in general. I was always helping people out. And the minute I lost everything, no one picked up the phone when I called. Not one person. And you know why I tell people all the time? I didn't want money. I didn't have any, but I didn't want any money. All I wanted was somebody to talk to and help share my difficult times and just talk it out. But I had nobody. The only person who stayed with me was my fiance, who's now my wife. We met in July of 2012. I filed the bankruptcy started in January of 2013. So I tell her all the time, I say, you didn't have to stay with me. And I wouldn't have blamed you at all. But she said, Marcus, I saw something in you that if you could just learn from your mistakes and you could surround yourself with the right people, you can bounce back. And today, I have the right people. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go far in business, your power team has to be built off of diversity, inclusion, and creating a culture. If you can do that, you can have success. So today, if I have a disagreement with somebody, we talk it out. 
I don't yell or scream. I, haven't, I don't fight with anybody. We just have a dialogue, find a resolution, we move forward. So today, my people are much more, not just telling me what I need to hear, we're having dialogue and discussions to help achieve our tactical plans and our long-term vision. I think a lot of leaders and entrepreneurs want to be inclusive. They want to draw on um, the, the team that they've assembled. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent question, man. The cues I wish I picked up on is when my employees started taking a lot more vacation time during like, you know, when it was like, you know, winter time, right? When it wasn't like people were, oh, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go, like they would start, they would start amassing that, just not showing up. People started coming to work about an hour to hour and a half late, right? And at the meetings, it said we used to have a lot of dialogue, people would kind of sit back in their chair, take notes, but wouldn't re, they wouldn't be giving me dialogue. And looking back on it, that was the beginning of the end for me. When my team started taking more time away from the office, they stopped sharing, they stopped dialoguing, and the email replies were getting short. Like, hey, let's talk about this, this, and this. Okay, and that was it. Like, I used to get like, okay, Mark, so we'll do this, we'll do this, and how about this? And it just got real short to the point. And that was it. And then people just start leaving, leaving, leaving. And then 90 days later, my friend, my doors were shut. And I had millions of dollars in my bank account before. And when I shut the doors, I got down to like $400 in my bank account. That's all I had left. That was it. But I wish I would have picked up on those, those, you know, those tips or those nuances at that time. It would have alerted me to start changing who I was before it was too late. But then by the time I realized it, it was way too late.